Hello, I'll be talking about accessory triggers. Synonyms Accessory ear, accessory auricle, supernumerary ear, polyosia. Definition and general background Accessory triggers is a common benign congenital anomaly of the external ear that presents as a small elevation of the skin that is made up of skin subcutaneous fat and or elastic cartilage. It is a congenital anomaly of the first branchial arch or second branchial arch. The etiology is not known. It could be an isolated malformation that is sporadic or be associated with other congenital syndromic anomalies such as cleft lip or palate hypoplasia of the lower jaw and eye and spine abnormalities such as oscoliosis and lordosis. It could be a component of golden heart syndrome. It is oculo-auricular vertebral dysplasia. Clinical presentation. Clinically, accessory triggers is usually diagnosed as skin tags. It is, most, it is located most commonly just anterior to the triggers. Here, you can see normal triggers. They are here. It is located anterior to the triggers. They can also occur on the cheek near the angle of the mouth, lateral part of the neck, anterior to the sternocleidomastoid, in the middle ear or between the eyebrows. It could be solitary or multiple, unilateral or bilateral, sessile or pedunculated, soft or firm, cartilaginous. We can have a look at Golden Heart Syndrome. Golden Heart Syndrome, it is also called hemifacial microsomia. It is a rare congenital craniofacial defect that affects the development of the lower half of the face. It is characterized by incomplete development of the ear nose, soft palate, lip, and mandible. So uh, that is mandibular hypoplasia on usually one side of the body. It may be an, autos an autosomal dominantly inherited disorder, an acquired X-linked a recessive or autosomal recessive inheritance. It could have a myriad of congenital anomalies. Common clinical manifestations include accessory triggers, limpal dermoids, choristomas, preauricular skin tags, and strabismus. This is the limpal dermoid or co it is also called choristoma. Some patients will have growing issues with internal organs, especially heart, kidneys, and lungs. The definitive diagnosis of an accessory oracle is achieved by post-excisional histological analysis. This is a simple surgical removal, here horizontal skin incision was made and dissection done. 
cartilage was exposed and excess tissue was excised. This is the cartilage which is whitish in color. Histologic features. It is a polypoid lesion covered by normal or thin epidermal surface, sometimes irrigated. It is associated with mild orthokeratosis. The subepithelium shows numerous vellus hair follicles that are irregularly spaced. What are the vellus hair follicles will be discussed soon. It shows fibro fatty core with a prominent connective tissue framework irrespective of the presence of the cartilage. Central core of elastic cartilage surrounded by a adipose tissue. It also can show echoing glands. We, I, uh, I am going to repeat. It is a polypoid lesion covered by normal or thin rugged skin uh, epidermal surface. The subepithelium shows numerous villous hair follicles. There is a fibro fatty core with a prominent connective tissue framework. There is a central elastic cartilage which is surrounded by fibrous tissue and adipose tissue. This is a higher power. It shows the central core of elastic cartilage surrounded by fibrous tissue and adipose tissue. This is the fibro fatty core with a prominent connective tissue framework. This is the framework, connective tissue framework entangling the fatty tissue. The, <clears throat> the polyboid lesion is covered by normal or thin epidermal surface, sometimes irrigated with mild orthokeratosis. There are numerous hair follicles, especially villus type which are irregularly spaced. Here we can see a central core of elastic cartilage, fibro fatty core with a prominent connective tissue. In the core we can find pacinian corpuscles, nerve bundles, and blood vessels which can be dilated. These are the villous hair follicles. The villous hair follicles are characterized by short strands which are less than two millimeter long and the follicle the follicles are not connected to a sebaceous gland. Here you can see are small and are not connected to the sebaceous glands and cells. This diagram shows a villous hair in prepubertal stage. The, the, each strand is less than two millimeter, and the hair follicle, the hair follicle is not connected to the sebaceous glands. Under the androgens effect, the uh, the villous hair will be changed into the terminal hair. 
Fearless hair is most easily observed on children and adult women who generally have less terminal hair to obscure it. Fearless hair replaces lanugo on a human fetus at 36 to 40 weeks of gestation. This is a villous hair. Sometimes the central cartilage is absent. However, the accessory auricle is diagnosed by. It means that the central cartilage is not essential for the diagnosis of the accessory tragus. The accessory tragus is diagnosed by, in this case, by its location, there is an Im imaginary, imaginary line drawn from the tragus to the angle of the mouth or uncommonly along the anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. It also diagnosed by the presence of a prominent connective tissue framework, as we mentioned earlier. Also by presence of numerous villous hair follicles that are irregularly placed. <clears throat> These are multiple tragi without central elastic cartilage. They are diagnosed by fibro fatty tissue with prominent with a prominent connect, uh, connective tissue framework and numerous hair follicles which are mainly villous hair follicles treatment surgical simple surgical excision punch excision or shave Excision is curative. In general, tags are regarded as cosmetically imperative. Many patients seek treatment, especially during childhood and adulthood, for cosmetic purposes. When a child presents with an accessory tragus, the patient should be carefully examined and referred to a pediatrician and genetician for ruling out any renal or cardiac defects and any other associated association with a syndrome. Thank you.